Darvin Ham, he got fired on his day off. <laughs> now, everybody kind of seen this coming because the Lakers, they did not reach expectations. They didn't even get close to the expectations that they placed on Darvin Ham in the beginning of this season. Um, but, you know, just having some open thoughts about this, it was a great move. It was needed. But ultimately, there's a bigger problem than just the head coaching situation going on with the Los Angeles Lakers. It's not just Darvin Ham of why the Lakers ran into a problem this season. It's not just, oh, D'Lo wasn't really making three-pointers. It's not just that Roy didn't pick up on certain plays on the defensive end and play certain defenses. No, it's not necessarily the player's fault. It's not really the coach's fault. This is something that's deeply rooted in the Lakers culture that I've witnessed within the last five to six years, bro. This is not good for the Los Angeles Lakers. They went through multiple coaches. They fired a coach that won them an NBA championship, didn't even give him a chance to try and reconstruct the roster and reconstruct pieces that needed to be fixed on this team. And then you got to consider all the different moves that happened with the Lakers. You can't blame this on Darvin Ham when they shipped out Dennis Schroeder and Dwight Howard when they could have brought those guys back and actually had another good season. Lakers have been making some questionable, questionable decisions over the past few years. And it's been mainly cir circulated around LeBron and Anthony Davis of trying to fit pieces into the way those guys play. But damn it, if they want to have any sort of longevity, they need to figure out what they're going to do in the future because we know LeBron is only going to be there a few more years. And I get it. You want to be in win now mode, which is OK. That's fine. I'm not I'm not upset at the Lakers trying to be in win now mode. But when you just stack in random pieces over and over with like no correlation of how their game matches up with each other, that's where I have the problem. Because bringing Westbrook there in the first place, you had no damn business doing that. Bringing, um, who else Who else did they have there? Uh, trading, trading Westbrook, bringing Patrick Beverly, you had no business doing that. Like the moves that they made don't even fit well with the, the pieces that they already had there to fit around LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Since when do you construct a team with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, but no shooters? When do you, when do you do something like that? So I got beef with the Lakers front office more than I have beef with Darvin Ham. Yeah. I seen Darvin Ham make some dumb decisions. He didn't make adjustments when they needed it. He played 14, 13 people when the Lakers roster was not needed to play 14, 13 people in these close games. He made some horrible rotations. Didn't use challenges, didn't call certain timeouts, didn't run up correct plays. Like the list goes on and on and on about how bad Darvin Ham was. But in reality, this is all coming down from the front office because they're not really giving him the tools to make it work. Because even if Darvin Ham did play the lineup correctly, what can he do about D'Angelo Russell going 0 for 9 on the floor? What can he do about that? What can he do about Roy not listening to, to what leaders on the floor is telling him to do? Or Vando not listening to, to what LeBron and AD is telling him to do on the floor? What can he do about Anthony Davis being hurt? Like, he's literally in a losing situation. And the Lakers, I, I know Ham has been there two years and his time is up. He's not the right fit, but... Like, they don't even give coaches a chance to make something work. And that's my problem with the Lakers. They're so quick to let these head coaches go. They don't even give them a chance to make something work. As soon as they get the slightest hint of something not working with the Lakers, they're letting them go. They're like, bye-bye. Could you imagine if other teams in the league did that? Could you imagine if the San Antonio Spurs let Greg Popovich go because he didn't make it to the second round of the playoffs? Or the Miami Heat letting Eric Spolstra go because he didn't make it to the second round of the playoffs? The Warriors firing Steve Kerr because he didn't make the playoffs? Could you imagine how silly that would be? It would be foolish. And the Lakers continue to do this year after year after year. So it's on them. It's their fault. It's not all on Darvin Ham. It's not all on, all on Anthony Davis or D'Angelo Russell from the way they were playing. No, this is above them. This is above LeBron. And this is a front office situation. And the Lakers have continued to do this year after year. And this is why LA has not been at that winning culture that we hold them to the standard of.